The Congregational Health Network is Methodist Labana Healthcare's way of partnering with the community. One of the things that we found through statistics is that 85% of individuals who enter the hospital state that they have attended worship service at a particular congregation in the community. So given that, Methodists thought it would be good to partner with those congregations to help provide the necessary and essential health care that members will need in the congregation. We have about 480 congregations that currently partner with us. After signing the covenant agreement, the pastor will select one individual or maybe two, depending on the size of the congregation, to serve as liaisons for the congregation. When the liaison is selected, then one of the navigators from Methodist Labana Healthcare will be assigned to work with that particular congregation and the liaison. The liaison will be the go-between between the hospital and the congregation, notifying the pastor of any uh, particular members that might be in the hospital or of any particular events that Methodist Labana Healthcare may be sponsoring that they will need the assistance of the pastor and the congregation for. After the member is released from the hospital, the navigator will also follow up to make sure that the member receives the proper aftercare that is needed. And if there's anything that we need to do to help assist that member in receiving the aftercare that is needed, then Methodist Labana Healthcare and the other entities that partner with Methodist Labana Healthcare in the community will be available to assist, to assist them in whatever needs they may have. Another aspect of the Congregational Health Network is its educational arm. On each Thursday night, the Congregational Health Network offers classes to educate and to train both the liaisons and also members of the particular congregations uh, on how to do congregational care and visitation, how to assist in caring for patients after they are released from the hospital. Uh, we also have a class on caring for the dying so that those individuals who have members in their congregations who may be in hospice care, they can help assist the family and the family members who are responsible for caring for those individuals. One of the rewarding things that we hear from a number of patients when they come into the hospital, uh, the first thing they say is that the Congregational Health Network actually works. That, uh, you know, the attention that they receive and how individuals are coming to check on them and the care that they're receiving from the congregation. I think one of the things that it also does is enhances the role of the, the pastor of the congregation because many times the pastor can't make you know, can't make it there to see the patient immediately when they get admitted into the hospital. But when we come in and actually say that your pastor asks us to come and see you, then that definitely brings a smile to their face, makes them feel special, and uh, even elevates the pastor to another level because they feel that he's really concerned about them and their well-being. The thing that excites me the most is the fact that we're out in the community, that we're moving the hospital outside of the four walls and going out into the community and making contact with the individuals who really need uh, the care and the knowledge as to what they need to do to better care for themselves. It's exciting to be a part of seeing faith and health reconnected and sharing in that reconnectivity as it unfolds, uh, seeing the church uh, and the hospital, the faith community, and the scientific community coming together once again and saying that we're not at odds with each other, but we can work together to help produce better health outcomes in our community. <laughs>